here. Right. Why don't we start this and then we can come here. Okay. And then uh, put this in there and then we'll go to commercial and then we come Dallas, back. Dallas, we that. gotta go. Are you I serious? I just got oh, we gotta go. We gotta get back. Oh. No, 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 wait. I just started a cookie for you guys. Why don't you guys just do the show here? You know we can't, right? We are around town. We are around town. Hey, I'm Dallas and this is... Ray J. <laughs> and we are around town with Dallas and Ray J. And we're going to do our... Yeah, Miss Nicole. How you been? Nicole Neely. And actually, we're in her home right now. Right. A little makeshift studio that we have. Well, we can stop on the south side of the city rink, right? Exactly. And we did a feature, so you'll see that later. Okay, but since uh, you said you were preparing something for us, right? Yes, chicken. Everybody uh, loves chicken. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, we're going to start off today's show. Uh, as soon as she walks out of this frame, we can get on with our show. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, thanks for tuning in to this edition of Around Town. I'm Dallas. I'm Ray J. It's lovely Ray J there. Uh, we have in store four very exciting segments this week. Ray, we're going to start off with New Beginnings Employment Organizers. That's with uh, Mr. Odie Smith. That's correct. I went out to Odie's office and found out some fascinating things about the world of employment. Okay, then uh, right after that, Dr. Ranika Jones. She's yes. the CEO, CEO, I should say, and Executive Director of Big League Executive Coaching, LLC. That's correct. Our very special and beautiful, I might add, correspondent. What's her name? I call her Baby Bear, but she's Shavonda <laughs> wow. Monet. Shavonda Monet went out and covered Dr. Ranika Jones, uh, who's the CEO and Executive Director, as you stated before, right, of Big League Executive Coaching, LLC. Correct. But after that, yes. we went to see the first couple of counselors. The first couple of counselors. You do the honors, right? Oh, my gosh. Demetrius and Cher Williams. They premiere on our show, Discussions with Dallas, live with Ray J, every Thursday at Ferguson, USA, HotTalkRadio.com. This time... That's at 5.30 Central Standard Time, but you're going to see them premiere on our show, Around Town, with Dallas and Ray J, and they have couples information and counseling to help support, strengthen, and help rebuild your marriages and uh, relationships, and it's free. And we'll have a for more information number for you all, so where you can go into and call their office and set up an appointment, and you can get personalized one-on-one -on -one counseling right. for you and or your mate. That's right. But then to close it out, Ray. Oh, to close it out, Neely's right. Entertainment. We have a beautiful backyard set up for you, and you don't want to miss it. So stick with us. Hey, keep it locked into Around Town with Dallas and Ray J on KDNL ABC 30. We'll be right back right after this. Hey, thanks for keeping it locked into Around Town with Dallas and Ray J on KDNL ABC 30. Uh, if you would like to be a guest on our show or have any comments or anything like that, right, that they would like to share with us. Of course, you need to get in yeah. touch with me and you can reach me at 314-641-9200. You can find me on Facebook at Ray J Johnson. And also, please go to our website at AroundTown30.com, AroundTown30.com. And if you'd like to email the show, you can hit us at AroundTown30 at gmail.com. That's right. Ray, let's talk about the first segment that's coming up on this episode of Around Town with me and you. All right. Dallas and Ray J. Dallas and Ray J. Odie Smith. Tell yes. us about Odie. Okay, so Odie Smith, the New Beginning Employment Organizers, is located over in Ferguson, Missouri. Odie offers a wide range of services for those that are seeking employment, especially those that are over the age of 40, transitioning in Dallas right, exactly. into a whole nother career. Okay. Let's go over there and take a look. Beginnings Employment Organizers with Mr. Odie Smith, who is the Executive Director and CEO of this company. This is a 501c3 nonprofit, correct? Yes, it is. So tell me, when did New Beginnings start and who is New Beginnings Employment Organizers? Okay, New Beginnings started August 2011, so this is our fifth year next month. We'll be celebrating our fifth year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. And New Beginnings got started from my wife and I, Deval Smith, and what we did was, uh, the first time I got laid off at Boeing or McDonnell Douglas, I had no idea back in 1992 on how to write a resume. Really? Well, back then there was no Google, there was no resources that we could turn to. I didn't know how to file unemployment or AFDC or WIC or food stamps. So I accidentally stumbled upon it and I was able to write my resume. And when my resume was written, I started 
to send it out to a lot of employers. And although the resume didn't look very, very good or healthy, uh, they still accepted it. But we were able to be called back to work a couple months later. So when I got called back at McDonnell Douglas, I told most of my employment brothers and sisters mm -hmm. on how to write a resume. On how to actually put the whole thing together. Yes. Okay, I cannot help but see this great big picture behind you that looks like a resume. Yes. Is that your real resume? Yes, that's one of many. Wow. And what made you decide to blow it up to put it into a poster-sized picture like that on the wall? I figure what better way to advertise and to show our community and our customers on what a resume should look like. Okay. That's now, right. who are your clients? Our clients are, a lot of them are ex-offenders, high school students, a lot of senior citizens, and anyone who wants to find a job or enhance their employment situation. Our youngest client is 15 and our oldest is in her mid-70s. Really? We yes. still have some veteran professionals that are retired that are working? Yes, yes ma'am. Really? Mm -hmm. So are these people, are they staying in their field or are they transitioning into something different? Most of them are transitioning because either they were laid off or attrition. But our senior citizens, they, what they, a lot of them want to do is go back to work. You know, they worked on the job for 30 years and they were forced to retire. Okay. And after a year or two of retirement, they figured, well, you know, I need to do something with my life. I want to do wow. something. Wow. So how many clients do you actually serve? We have over 950. Are you serious? Yes, over 950 clients. Active clients. Yes. And that is not just in Missouri, but we serve over 20, we serve 21 states. We have clients in 21 states. Yes. So you mean to tell me this local entity right here in Ferguson, Missouri, services other states and and those individuals seeking employment yes we do oh my gosh how do you do this you're not a one-man operation are you not anymore no. okay there's seven of us that works in the office now okay and six of them are from AARP and AARP what they do is they provide us free labor how they, so well it's through the government it's through the government contracts AARP pays their salary, and in turn, they're in this program called CSEP, S-C-S-E-P, and what my uh, job is to, is to train them so that they can become employed for their next job. This is more like a training program. Okay. So we have them for six months, up to a year. Okay. And then we teach them the things that they don't know, or the things that they need to know to get hired. So tell me, Odie, what makes you different as an employment entity uh, from any other employment agency in, in the state? I work one-on-one -on -one with all of our clients. As soon as they come in for the intake, I sit down with them. First question I ask, what is it that you're looking for? What kind of job were you looking for? And then I delve into their skill set, their experience. And a lot of clients come in here because there's no place else to go. We're the only organization in Missouri that provides all the services that we give, one-on-one -on -one attention. We do all the resumes. We write the resumes to match the job that they want to apply to. Now that is a little different because typically your resume is your experience, right? Yes. But you're matching it up to what they want to go to. Correct. Okay. Yes. So tell me this. Um, what about those that are incarcerated? I think I heard something about you work with those individuals that are incarcerated? Yes. Okay, tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, anyone that's an ex-offender, Okay. they get jobs quicker than you and I because there are so many resources out there that provides the services, provides employment for the ex-offenders. And we have a resource that exclusively hires ex-offenders. And when we do the resumes and we send our ex-offender clients over to our resource, they're hired either that week or the following week. Okay, wow. Yes. Because I know that it's difficult sometimes to transition from being incarcerated back into society. Uh, you tend not to be able to be hired sometimes because of your background. Yes. Have you found it as a challenge? Absolutely, yes. Especially when you're writing a resume and there's a gap, like a 10-year gap, Wow. 15 or 20-year gap. So what we do is we camouflage the dates by not putting the dates on their resume. Okay. We put all their skill sets on the resume. 
and we also inform them of what to say in the interview if that question does come up. So what would one say about that gap? Well, it all depends on which gap. If it's a five-year gap, that's not a very long time to be unemployed mm -hmm. because nowadays most people do get unemployed. They lose their job, you know, laid off, or you know, anything could happen. But if, for an ex-offender who goes into an interview, that, what they can usually say is, well, I did have some problems in the past. You know, you got to be upfront and honest because mm -hmm. they're going to find out. Mm -hmm. You know, employers will find out. So you just let them know, I, you know, I had some problems in the past, but now I'm rehabilitated and I'm ready to work for your organization. Well, Odie, before we get out of here, let me just thank you for allowing us to come into New Beginning Employment Organizers right. today. If you would please tell our audience, how can they find you? What's your information? Okay. We're at New Beginnings Employment Organizers. That's 119 Church Street, Suite 131. Our telephone number is 314-355-JOBS. That's 314-355-5627. And it's right here in Ferguson, Missouri, you guys. So thank you so much. Back to you in the studio. This is Ray J for Around Town. Ray, you did a fantastic job. Thanks. New Beginnings Employment Organizers. Yes. Catering to the community of those that are older adults. Right. And I have to say that Odie has a special place in his heart for those that have been incarcerated right. and are now being transitioned into civilian life, I'll say. And uh, they have a lot of challenges with employment, but Odie has a little something, something that makes it all possible for them to get employment. And this is an organization that believes in love and prayer even before you begin your experience with them. Exactly. And they have a 93 or 95%? They have a 93% success rate and nearly a thousand clients that Odie sees. And these wow. are active clients. Okay. And also before Odie does any resumes, he actually prays over them. So if you're going to walk in the door at uh, New Beginnings Employment Services, get ready to go to work, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey, Dr. Ranika Jones, I can't yes. say anything else other than Dr. Ranika Jones, but to even better that, our own special correspondent, Javonda Monet, she did a van glorious job. She did a fantastic this. job on this piece. Dr. Ranika Jones, the CEO and Executive Director of Big League Executive Coaching, LLC. Take it away. I am here right now at the Big League Summer Camp with Dr. Ranika Jones. Ms. Ranika, what is that for you all here? Well, here at Big League Summer Camp, we offer summer camp to kids ages 3 to 16. We focus on three major components of leadership at home, at school, and in the community. So we, we do a lot of fun activities with the kids in the summertime as well, community service, we do one of them, entrepreneurship, um, you name it, we got it here, Big Pete. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been doing a camp? Doing a camp? Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been doing a camp for, this will be our fifth year doing it. Um, this is our first time in this big building, so it's been exciting because we added on a gym, a cafeteria, so we're able to feed the kids breakfast, lunch, and snacks now. So it's been a blessing to, you know, be able to continue to expand. Okay, so it's like every day or? Yeah, every day, Monday through Friday, we try to um, keep the kids uh, extended time, and that's one of the things that makes our summer camp a little bit different because I realize a lot of parents have to be at work at 8 o'clock, so the traditional camp only starts at 9 o'clock, so we run our camp from 7 in the morning all the way to 6 at night. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so what started? Um, how did you start? What was your passion, the journey that you went through? It's been a long road with the summer camps. I mean, each year it continues to get bigger and bigger. When I first started, I had literally 15 kids, and now I'm up to 70 kids. Oh, so wow. within the five year span, it just continues to grow, and God continues to bless it. People uh, love to volunteer, and just the growth is phenomenal. Okay, so you may have seen you all in yourself, or do you have people with you? Yeah, at first I was, but now I have a strong team that, you know, backs me and supports and rally around my efforts and what I'm trying to do in the community. My passion is working with kids, so anything that involves kids, I'm 
there and I'm really trying to make a difference in the uh, lives of people. Okay, so what is your long term long term goal? Long term, I would like to turn this into a youth center, a youth center meeting that they can have a computer lab, homework lab, where they can uh, come and play basketball. So open gym will be available. Also, um, where they'll have a team lounge where you know the kids that like to come and play basketball, but at the same time they can come and hang out and watch a movie or you know get entrepreneur skills and um, have team talk where they can relax and have a safe place where they can go that's off the streets and inside. And I think that would be nice for them. Okay, so do you offer help from the community? Can I just come up and say, hey, I want to help you today, or do I have to send? Well, uh, you volunteer for big league. For either our summer camp or our before and after school program, you can contact us on our website at www.bigleagueexecutivecoaching.com. Also, our telephone number is area code 314-327-8956. This is Monet for Around Town. Back to you guys at the studio. That was a fantastic piece. Really Thank you so work. much, Shavonda Monet, on Dr. Jones and that summer camp for these kids, which is so much needed. So I'm glad that we got an opportunity to get out there and see the kids even playing a little bit of basketball. Did you see the one little guy? I know. He looked like me back in the day. I mean, he's right? like <laughs> about five, and he made that shot. So yeah. thank you again, Shavonda, for a great piece. Hey, listen, okay. you know, Every day on our show, Discussions with Dallas Live with Ray J, we have a variety of topics. Yes, we do. But on Thursday, what do we do, Dallas? On Thursdays, and this is not a shameless plug, but on Thursdays on FergusonUSAHotTopRadio.com, we have the first couple of counseling to sit across from us, Mr. and Mrs. Demetrius and Cher Williams. And every Thursday, uh, basically around 5.30 Central Standard Time, after we get our antics and goofs and things out of the way, right. right, we get right down to the seriousness of rescuing relationships. Yes. And Cher and Demetrius do just that. Yes, so we do. have a little piece from them. and We're well, going to go to their offices, actually, around town. In we took it on the road. Yes, we did. And they are of Christian Psychological and Family Services, in addition to Dynamic Marriage. So why don't we take a look at what they do. This week's topic is being on one accord. How important is that? As husbands and wives, we always have issues that come up where we have to make some major decisions and how we make that decision can greatly impact our marriage. So being on one accord is so significant. Very significant, very significant because you want to have input from both parties, husband and wife. We are valuable and we have opinions that are very important to us making those major decisions. Input. Also, we need to have input from God because He is our source. And man, we need Him to direct and order our, our, our directions. So yeah, it is very important. So I guess the number one thing you want to do is be on one accord in prayer. So you want to involve God in everything that you do, especially major decisions. So Praying first is definitely a number one thing. And having a healthy dialogue, being able to sit down at the table and say, okay, let me hear your side objectively, and then I want you to hear my side objectively, and then let's put everything on the table so we can see how we can come up with a win-win situation. Oh, most definitely. Brainstorming, number two. You do want to put the pros and the cons to all decisions because you don't have... I may not have all the best ideas, or you may not have mm -hmm. all the best ideas. So putting everything on the table so that we can uh, reach an agreement and we have all options to look at is very important. And you got to be objective too because if we're brainstorming and we're putting everything out on the table, I have to be open to receive what you have to say and you have to be open to receive what I have to say too. If you go in it with, you know what, I already have my mind made up, then that brain that brainstorming process ain't going to work. Ah, so number three, you don't have to always be the right, right, or you don't have to always make the final decision because your, your spouse may have an idea that will work that you didn't come up with. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, it's very important to be on one accord, to be in agreement. You have to have 
God involved. Through prayer. Through prayer. You have to be able to uh, brainstorm pros and cons. And be open to it so that, hey, we're together as a team. Definitely. You also have to uh, be willing to uh, concede to your spouse's thoughts. Right, because teamwork makes the dream work. And finally, but most importantly, be patient. Because uh, when you're making a decision, you don't want to rush out into it. Because sometimes you can get ahead of God or you can jump out there without all the information that you need. And that's very, very important. Or sometimes you just got to let it settle so that you can be able to uh, think about the process of the decision that you're going to make. For more information, you can contact us at Christian Psychological and Family Services slash Dynamic Marriage. Our address is 9378 Olive Boulevard, Suite 106, that's St. Louis, Missouri, 63132. Our contact number is 314-567-4994. And our website is cpfsstl.com. You can hear us weekly on Discussions with Dallas live with Ray J. And that's on FergusonUSAHotTalkRadio.com. And that's at 530 Central Standard Time. Can't wait to be a blessing. Hey, thanks for being locked into a round town with Dallas and Ray J here on KBNL ABC 30. Ray, we have a final piece. I'm going to let you talk about that while I play with this lazy Susan here. Go ahead. Okay, so we came out to Nicole Neely's place, and she did a fantastic backyard scape. It really was wine right. tasting. Yes, I actually enjoyed that. And I like some of the things that she used that you can find right around in your own home. Right. So why don't we go out to the backyard? And just a little preview. Ray and I have something just exclusively just for you all. Something for you. Closer than close around town. <laughs> Ray. Dallas. With this ring. I don't think I'll be able to wed. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome. That was a little jokey joke. I right. hope you took it as a jokey joke. Uh, we are here today in this beautiful backyard scape of Miss Nicole Neely of Neely Entertainment. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. This is a beautiful tablescape that you have here. Why don't you tell us what is the theme of this table? What I did, I took some hats, covered them up, put some flowers in a basket. Wow. These are hats? Yes. So the, the, what you see on the table and you guys wrapped up so nicely are actual hats. Yes. Okay, and continue. And I just added some flowers, made a basket, took some cloth, and put some wine bottles in there. Your basket here. Yes. Okay, and these beautiful little wine bottles. Yes, you can just add wine. Now to are your... these wine glasses? Yes. Great, check this out. I know, she has two different types. So what type is this? One is for wine and one is for water. Okay. So if you get thirsty from drinking the wine, you can always now, drink some water. which is the wine water. and the water? Wine. wine. Okay. Water. Okay. Okay. I think I want to switch mine for it. Really? Yeah. And then you hear about what's going on back here on this back end. Well, it's a setup for your food, your entrees, your water. You can stand here and eat and mingle with everyone else. Usually I have a, usually I have like cheese on here for the wine and hors d'oeuvres and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's just set up like that, really nice. Okay, and what about over here? This is just for decoration, right? It's just for decoration to make it look nice and elegant. Well, it's just a nice little setup to go with the rest of the effect over here to make it look nice and elegant. Now, is this actually a wine bottle? What, it, it is. is. It's a and wine it's bottle. And what you can do is just take a wine bottle from your house, spray paint it, put a little bow on it, and make it look nice. Now that looks fantastic. Same thing here. Yes, Another just hat a hat and add some flowers. Put it wow. on the stand and you have a nice backyard. And a nice bow as well. Ray, I like that. Okay, let's try la la back over here and talk to Ray J. Oh, Ray, thank you. Ray, we have some, oh. Well, while you were over there, Dallas, I took the liberty of getting you something to drink, some libations. I think you already saw me take that drink. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it has been fantastic chatting with you. And you can get in touch with me at Neely's Entertainment on Facebook. And my number is 314-643-3167.
Say that number one more time for us. 314-643-3167. Say that business one more time for us. I can't do us. it. I can't do You're it. You're doing it. I know. Neely's Entertainment. Neely's Entertainment. Mr. Dallas is killing it here. Ray, let's, let's, uh, let's salute. Let's salute. Hey. Ray, I'm having second thoughts about that, that, uh, proposal. There we go. Refreshing. <laughs> that cool, refreshing drink. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. setup she had out there. It was beautiful. The wine, the wraps, the statuesque. Right, and I like things. the way she used hats and wrapped them and Nicole, in flowers real quick. inside. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this edition of Around Town with Dallas and Ray J. Yes, I'm sorry, that's Ray J right there. This is Dallas. This is Dallas. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's Nicole. Thanks for joining us. Uh, be sure to check us out on Wednesday nights that's right. at 136 to 205 a.m. Thank you for tuning in and ready to take us away. Hey, you never know where you'll see us around, around town. town. Good night. Good night.